All right, guys, if you're just joining our live streams, I want you to take this quick crash course. It's going to be five or 10 minutes, just me explaining the very basics so you can get the most out of my analysis during the live stream and hopefully have it benefit your own trading. That's the goal. I'm here to share Owings Market Analysis with you guys, and I really want you to get as much out of it as you possibly can. So in order to do that, I think you need to understand what you're looking at with my charts here to the right and your typical candlestick chart here to the left. So these are both daily charts of the NASDAQ 100 futures contract. You've got the typical candlestick chart over here, which is probably what most of you guys are used to. You're probably used to, you know, connecting highs and lows and drawing out channels and doing Fibonacci's and double tops and bottoms and head and shoulders and, you know, cups and handles and all that kind of stuff. And I'm not here to talk down about any of those things. If they work for you, that's great. The problem I had with all of that way, way back when, when I first got into trading, this is about 20 years ago, before I discovered my mentor who showed me the approach that I've since developed into Owings Market Analysis. The problem I have with the candlesticks and all the related patterns is that they're really just not definable enough or objective enough for me to put into any type of system that I can use to make data-driven decisions again and again and again and be consistent in my decision making. That was always the hardest part for me with candlesticks is that it wasn't really that objective. So with Owings Market Analysis and what I've created, it's a much more objective, logical way of mapping out price structure and then using that map to determine where we think price is most likely to go next, okay? And I'll get into some of the specifics here shortly. And again, this is all designed so that you can better follow along the live stream and really just jump in and understand what we're talking about as quickly as possible. So what you see here on the candlestick chart is most of you are looking back to, you know, two, three months. This is November, here's February. This is like a three month picture here. Whereas you see, I'm actually just looking at, you know, the last few days here. These are each just individual daily bars, right? So that day that recently completed here is that itty bitty candle right there, right? So what you're seeing on my chart here is really just a zoomed in portion of the latest price action here on the candlesticks. And the reason for that is because the latest price action is the most important price action. That's the price action that's happening right now. So that's what I'm most interested in. Now, it doesn't mean that we don't look back and get a sense of where we're coming from to determine where we might be headed. We just do it in a very, very different way. And I'm gonna explain how that works. So now that you have a little bit of an understanding of what my charts are, essentially just extremely zoomed in bar charts with my different Owings Market Analysis indicators, overlaid let's go ahead and talk about how we connect all the different time periods because that's very very important and that's what gives oma such an extreme edge so i'm going to go ahead and get rid of the candlestick chart to be honest i don't like candlestick charts i find them very confusing so with oma just like you have that daily zoomed in bar chart there you've got the weekly here so this gives me the last four or five weeks this is the monthly. This gives me the last four or five months. So just like you guys were looking back all the way to November on your daily candlestick chart, well, I am also looking way back to November, but I'm doing it on the monthly chart, right? And then when I want to go back about a month, I'm doing it on the weekly chart. When I want to go back a few days, I'm doing it on the daily chart. And then I go back even further when we look at my quarterly charts, right? So if I want to see all the way back here, you can see on the quarterly chart, we're looking all the way back to, you know, 2021 here, I can expand it even further, but this is giving me all the information that I need for different price levels. And there's a very, very logical approach to connecting all of these different time frames. And that's what I teach in the course. And that's what I show you in the live stream every day, how I use it for my own trading, to make, you know, very accurate calls again and again and again. And that's why, you know, my consistency is, is very good because I have a consistent dependable approach to reading the markets. You know, I use the yearly chart here as well. Uh, sometimes I'll even go as far back as a five-year chart where each individual bar is five years. In this case, it's one year. So I'm able to use the same patterns, the same types of trading 
and just look at the different fractal nature of how these patterns and types of trading are repeating across the yearly, the quarterly, the monthly that you see here to the far left, the weekly chart in the middle, finally the daily. Uh, daily. And then what I do is I extrapolate that down even further. And we can look here, you've got an hourly chart here and a 15 minute chart. And what we're going to start doing in the live stream is actually dial it down even more by looking at my top picks for the day that I post in the members area. That's usually two or three markets. My number one picks, I've got very clear directional reads, uh, very clear levels, and we'll trade the intraday volume based charts on the live stream. And you'll see the accuracy of the reads that we get trading those charts. But for the sake of the example here and what I've been doing on the live stream lately, the hourly chart and the 15 minute chart, I'm doing the same thing. I'm just plugging the, uh, the 15 minute chart into the hourly. And then I'm looking at the daily, the weekly, the monthly. So I'm just looking for very definable, repeatable situations with my methodology that allow me to take advantage of the price action and the price structure in a much different way than you're used to with candlesticks. And I can promise you that although it might look a little bit confusing because it's new to your eye, once you really start to understand what's going on here, it makes a lot more sense than candlesticks. And it's going to provide you with a lot more confidence in your ability to analyze the markets and understand what's going on because you've got such a logical roadmap to what's happening when you start connecting all the different types of trading. I define my types of trading into trending, into congestion, uh, congestion entrance, congestion exit, right? Congestion action, trend reversal. All these things are defined very, very clearly. So I always know what type of trading I'm in. And then because I know the type of trading I'm in, I know which playbook to use. And therefore, you know, I'm always using the appropriate playbook at the appropriate time, which gives us such a fantastic edge. And because it's logically constructed, it works across all major futures markets, Forex, stocks, whatever you want to use it on. You can pull up any chart and apply the same exact logical structure and it will work. So when you see me in the live stream talking about, okay, well, the hourly chart for the NASDAQ here is trending up. Well, at this point here, I'm going to start looking for uh, signs of exhaustion and trend reversal. Well, in order to see if the exhaustion and the trend reversal are about to unfold, I'm going to go ahead and check in on the 15 minute chart here. You know, when we look at the 15 minute chart here, I want to see specific signs of this 15 minute trend run, um, you know, showing signs of weakness. We're going to go for congestion entrance down. We're going to get some closes underneath the envelope top. You know, these are all the little nuances that I use when I'm doing my analysis and I'm not just again plugging the 15 minute into the hourly but in order to get a sense of why the hourly would perhaps top out here I got to look at the daily and then I got to look at the weekly I got to look at the monthly and so on so this is how we use Owings market analysis and the 25 lesson course that I put together is designed to take you from complete beginner in the beginning from lesson one all the way up to really becoming an expert at how this works by the time you finish the course lesson 25 you're going to have to go through it several times and take notes and think about it and you know watch it happen in real time every day but after a while it's like a language it'll start to make sense to you you'll start to speak it fluently and when you do it's going to change your life because it's just unlike anything out there and you may look at it and think okay it's a little bit hard to understand and it's new and you know, you're kind of comfortable with your candlesticks. I get that. But just remember that anything uh, in life that's, you know, quite unique and special is probably going to be something that's not as widely known as something that, you know, the majority of people are using. And the majority of people are using candlesticks and head and shoulders and, you know, um, cups and saucers and whatever other names they've come up with for their different patterns. I think that those patterns are just too subjective. They're too hard to, you know, take advantage of. Uh, consistently again and again. There are some people that can do that. I'm not questioning that. There are some great traders, but I think the odds of you becoming a successful trader and becoming a consistently profitable trader are much higher if you learn Owings market analysis compared to sticking with your candlestick. So I hope this helps you out a lot. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below or go to the website owingstrading.com and you can sign up for the first seven lessons, 100% free, 
check it out. It'll give you even more information than this, a lot more information than this. And then of course, there's a lot more if you want to continue uh, learning about it or just stop by the live stream and uh, trade along with us and have a good time. All right, I hope this helps. I tried to keep it as short as possible. This is the live stream uh, crash course and uh, look forward to continue to put up just great steady results in the live stream. Really nice returns, uh, managing our risk very, very well. That's what we focus on. Okay, take care everybody and I'll see you in the next live stream. Bye-bye.